Halloween, Katie. You got a nice costume. You're late. I'm sitting alone in a cemetery and you... Daryl, are you a piece of candy? Yeah, cool, huh? I figure when people see me, I'll make the candy they give out look small. So they'll overcompensate by giving us more. Smart, huh? Brilliant. Where's Jimmy? Getting his little cousin, I think. His mom's making him take her out with us. <coughs> hey, Bert! Got enough room in your trunk for all the candy we'll get? I said, do you have... Let me roll down the window. Ah, that's better. Now I can hear you. Sweet ride. What are you supposed to be? I'm a baseball player in his SUV. It's loaded with all the options, including anti-lock brakes and an atomic-powered laser cannon. Right on. I'm a piece of candy. Where's Jimmy? Oh, it's creepy out here. Speak of the devil, and the devil shall appear. Cool. You're late. I know. I had to get the baby. Come on, Hannah. I'm coming, Jimmy. I'm coming. Hi, Katie. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Bert. Hi, Hi Hannah. Hannah. I like your fairy princess wings. Aren't they cool? I helped with the glitter. Really? My mom doesn't let me touch glitter. Not since that incident with the glue and the dog. My parents are giving out big candy bars for trick-or-treat. I brought one for everyone. Oh, thanks, thanks, thank Hannah. you. That's cool of you. I'll put this in my glove compartment for later. I can get my own Halloween candy. I don't need any baby's help. Now, my creatures of the night. Sorry to interrupt, Jimmy, but I'm not really a creature of the night. I'm a baseball player. And I'm a piece of candy. Don't look at me. I'm a full-fledged creature of the night! Daryl, there is nothing scary about a piece of candy. Hey! You could be a mean piece of candy. Like when you eat too much of it, and it finally gets you sick. That's good. I'm that last piece of candy that makes you sick. Now, Bert, baseball players play night games, right? That's true. So I'm like a half-creature of the night. Okay. Come now, my creatures. And half-creatures. And uh, sick makers. And Hannah, if you're about to say that you're a fairy princess and not a creature of the night either, I'm going to take you home right now. Now is our time. We become monsters surging forth and... Ah! Ah! <laughs> Jimmy! I'm sorry, Jimmy. I didn't know how powerful it was. What the heck were you shining that dumb thing around for? Flashback? Flashback. Hit it! Are you anxious to get outside with all the monsters, Pumpkin? Monsters? Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be with Jimmy and his friends. They're very responsible. Especially that Katie. She's got a good head on her shoulders. I'm just glad she's going with Daryl. He's so big and strong, he can take care of any monsters. Monsters? Ding dong. Come on, honey. We both know Katie will look out for her. I trust that, Daryl, with his boyish good looks and sense of fair play. Good grief. Ding dong. Don't, Don't worry, worry, Pumpkin. pumpkin. Daryl will, will protect, protect you from, from the monsters. Monsters? monsters? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong already! Oh, that must be Jimmy. I'll get it. Here you go, honey. Monsters can't stand flashlights. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, don't you look cute? Thanks. Happy Halloween. Hannah ready? Come on, Hannah. Don't worry, honey. If you get frightened, Jimmy's promised to take care of you. Okay, Mommy. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, wait up. That was a lot like it happened. Hey, I get to be in the next flashback. Hannah, shine your flashlight around and scare all the monsters, okay? I need to talk to these guys for a second. Okay, Jimmy.
Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna ditch Hannah. <gasps> we all want lots of candy, don't we? Whoa. I don't know. So we'll scare her, and she'll run home, and then we can do what we want, okay? She's kind of slow. Yeah, we can go faster as a group of big kids. And get twice as much candy without her. Then we're agreed. Follow me, and I'll make sure we have the best Halloween yet. I didn't find any monsters. Good work, Hannah. You're not scared, are you? Maybe a little. You want to be a big kid, right? Right. Well, if you're a big kid, you won't be afraid to trick or treat the Spook House! Years ago on Halloween night, the people who lived here forgot to leave candy for the hungry monsters and got eaten for it! So now, every year, the new kid has to leave candy in the basement of the abandoned Spook House to keep the monsters from eating every kid in the world! And guess who's the new kid? Watch. <laughs> the baby will turn and run. Now what? Your little cousin just went into the spook house. I guess we'll just have to scare her ourselves. Follow my lead. Hannah, look! The owner's ghost's over there! <laughs> Leave your candy! It's your only home! I think I hear a skeleton rapping in the closet! <laughs> you hear that witch laughing? <laughs> or the werewolf howl? <laughs> you better hurry, Hannah. Get to the basement and throw some candy down there. Okay, Jimmy. We'll be right behind you. Jimmy? Katie? Anyone? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that it made you cry. Monsters. Monsters? Boy, oh boy, are you in luck. Some of my best friends are monsters. Come on, I'll take you over to my realm in the front side and introduce you. Let's go.
What do you think? Homey. Very homey. I could have seen her face when she turned around and we were gone. <laughs> Priceless! <laughs> You've been filling her head full of stories all night, Jimmy. She was so easy to scare. <laughs> we'll wait right here for her. She'll come out screaming any second. <laughs> Can I help? Mm. <sighs> We've got to find Scully. He said he'd be here by now. Scully? A monster! That's no monster. It's just my broommate. Oh, my scary godmother. <laughs> Sorry to be so late, but I just had to get these old bones bleached for the party. You look 300 years younger. Party? Sure, our Halloween party. Me and my broommates throw one every year. I like parties. Oh, it is the spookiest Phantom Fest in the whole realm. Everyone will be there. It's practically a who's boo of monsters. And incidentally, who are you? Scully, I would like you to meet my new friend, Hannah. Hannah, this is Mr. Pettibone. He's our official skeleton in the closet. Well, ha, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Hannah. <laughs> Does everyone have a skeleton in their closet? Almost everyone, little miss. I work in the closets of all the old houses, keeping their secrets and just rattling around. But when it comes to Halloween night, I love nothing more than to roll the bones at a good party. You are staying for the party, aren't you? Yes. Oh, well, good. I don't know. Scary Godmother said that there will be monsters at the party, and I'm scared of monsters. Oh, oh my. You just haven't met enough good ones yet. You see, Hannah, Monsters are a lot like spiders. Some are real nice, and some are not so nice. But all of them are creepy and crawly! Wasn't that supposed to help? Yes! Do you think it worked? Yes. And now, a little atmosphere. <laughs> Wasting our precious trick-or-treating time. At least Daryl and I were smart enough to get some trick-or-treating in on the way here. You know, if you pick first, then you won't need to trade with me all the time. I like trading with you, Daryl. I never know what I want until you pick it out first. Fine. So... Ooh, I'll trade you two caramels for three baby chocolate bars. Okay. Ooh, and, and this little bag of gumdrops for this sugar cluster. Okay. Oh, and Miss Shoeless Joe, for three kisses. Okay. Wait. I don't have any kisses. Oh. Breaker, breaker. We've lost contact with Katie and Daryl. Please advise Houston, over. Bert, nobody puts CBs in SUVs these days. Uh, you just left your baby cousin to the mercy of killer monsters on Halloween night? And you're concerned with the additions and upgrades in my cardboard SUV? Eh, good point. Here's the rest of the food! Ha! Our guests will be here any minute. 
How do I look? Mmm, frightful. You're too kind. Ah, a monster! Only to his mother. It's just Harry. Hi, Harry. Come on in. Thank you, scary godmother. I don't mind if I do. Mmm, where are those wonderful smells emanating from? The goody plate, I believe. You won't mind if I just sample the delicacies, do you? Ow! No! Down, boy! Last year, you devastated the entire buffet before the other guests even arrived. How dare you, sir? I come to a party to enjoy the company of good... Now, sit. Good boy, shake. Now, roll over. Oh, please. Roll over. I will not degrade myself. Over. <laughs> Good boy. Here. Now, no more until everyone else shows up. And you'll be lucky to get that. Oh, you'll be lucky if I don't bury your femur in the backyard, you scoundrel. Harry, I, I want you to meet my new friend. Hmm? But it, it can't be. It can't be what? Oh, don't be coy, my dear. I'm really a huge fan. You know who she is? Of course. It's Ophelia St. Tata, who played the Princess of Ectoplasmania in episode 42 of the Spectral Six. She's practically in the same costume as well. What a priceless in-joke for those of us who are long-time spectators. Like myself, of course. Or d'oeuvre, Miss Tata. <laughs> <gasps> it's not for me, it's for Miss Tata. Do you mind if I call you Ophelia? I don't mind, but it's not my name. Harry, this is not Ophelia oh, Saint. I am such a huge fan of the show. I must know every single line from every single episode. I remember when our fair hair... Here's a treat that's fun to make and helps you get a word in edgewise. Take two of your favorite crackers, spread one with jam, one with peanut butter, mush them together, and jam them into the mouth of the chattering werewolf. Voila! No. Oh. Now, Harry, this is my new friend, Hannah Marie, not Ophelia St. What have you who played Madame Lord High Muckety Molasses from your favorite television show. Scully! Don't tease him! I get it! Ah, oh, silence. Music to my cranium. Oh, oh no, jelly rolls should be done. Ta-ta! Count Max, Ruby, Orson. Good evening, scary godmother. I know it's intimidating being around royalty, but don't worry. We should offer them some refreshments, don't you think? Yeah, that's probably good manners when you're dealing with kings and queens. Are you a chocolate-covered fly? Mmm, do not mind if I do. Not for me, darling. I'm watching my figure. Mmm, <clears throat> dark chocolate. Shall we move to the other room? Lovely. Delightful. Okay. Why are they just standing there? Oh, no. That's right. Vampires can't enter a house unless you invite them in. Really? That's very polite. Oh, yes. I am thrilled to have the king and queen of the night grace my humble home. The pleasure is ours. The place looks great. Help yourselves to the food. Scary godmother! Oh, no. This is my friend, Hannah Marie. Oh! <laughs> Hannah, this is Count Max, his wife Ruby, and their son Orson. Hi. Hi. Are you a real vampire? Of course I'm a real vampire. Are you a real human? Yeah, but you're just a kid. So are you. Do you go to school? Sure, night school. Don't you go to school? I go to school. Sacred Heart. Mmm, sounds tasty. But you go during the day. So? How can you see with all that sunlight in your eyes? <laughs> I can't see in the dark. You can't? It's his first real human. Cute. Do you sleep in a coffin? Sure, I've slept in my own coffin since I was three. 
You mean you still share a coffin with your parents? No! I mean, yes. I mean, I don't sleep in a coffin at all. You're homeless? <laughs> Orson, honey, Ham is not from around here. Why don't the two of you fly off and enjoy the party? Okay. Can't you fly with those wings? Nuh uh. Race it to the kitchen then. No, no, no running. You. <laughs> I can talk again! Be still, my beating ribcage. Quiet, Philistine. <laughs> Hello, Max. Good evening, Harry. It is... Nice to see you. Nice to be seen. Oh, Miss Ruby, delightful to see you, my dear. So, Max, you run in a celebrity crowd. Do you think you'll be seeing Miss Crystal? Um, if you do, uh, perhaps uh, an autograph? Harry? Yes, Max? Look deeply into my eyes. Okay, looking now. Cease your chattering and sleep. Sleep? On an empty stomach? But I... That is better. Some peace and quiet. I think. Oh, I like the way you think, Count Max. Can I get you a drink? Thank you. Bloody Mary. Hold the Mary. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, hey, hey! You start the party without me? Forbid! It wouldn't be a party without you here, Bugaboo! Come on up! Let's party! <laughs> it's okay! It's okay, Hannah! Take a deep breath! If I start scaring kids after hours, I'm gonna put in for overtime! Now calm down, kid. Calm down. Oh, help me, help me, Mom. What? I'm not doing nothing. Bugaboo, you're scaring her worse. What are you, a coal miner? But my dad said... Uh, Hannah, flashlights only work on monsters that hide in your closet. Y yeah, and uh, Bugaboo is a monster that hides under your bed. Nice cover. I don't care what kind of monster he is. Keep him away from me. He's big and mean and scary looking. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the party. Uh, maybe I should go. Oh. oh. You don't have to go. No, no, I understand. It comes with the job. But oh, he's a guy who fucks me up. Maybe you're not that mean after all. Well, to tell you the truth, monsters aren't mean. Big and scary, yeah, but not mean. Big and scary is right. Oh, you're just trying to butter me up. Does that mean you'll stay? You got it. After all, <laughs> it is my house. All right, then. Last party! Door is ajar.
Door is a jar. Door is a jar. Will you stop that? Please fasten your safety belts. Uh, why isn't she screaming yet? <laughs> What are we gonna do? We've practically missed Halloween. This isn't funny anymore. We've gotta go in and get Hannah. She's gotta be scared to death by now. Look, I'm the leader of this group, and I say we wait. Who made you leader? What do you mean? Of course I'm the leader. That's not fair. We didn't even vote. You want to vote? Fine, we'll vote. Who wants me for leader? Okay, who wants Bert for leader? Daryl? Katie? That's one vote for everyone. I demand a recount! That's still one vote for everyone. Recount! That's one vote for everyone. Recount! <laughs> what are you doing? Nobody has changed their vote. I just want to see how long he'll keep this up. Oh. Recount! That's one vote for everyone! Recount! Will you two stop it? Ugh. We'll do rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Go! Uh, uh, uh. All rock, no winner. Uh, uh, uh. All rock, no winner. Uh, uh, uh. All rock, no winner. Look, wise guys, nobody is gonna win if we all do rock. Is that clear? Ready? Go! Uh. Ha! Rock beats scissors, scissors, scissors! I'm still the leader, and I rule no more voting. So what now? Stick it in park and wait. Silly. I was just kidding. I know. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> you should be. Someday I'll be king of the night. Someday I'll be movie star, princess, veterinarian, astronaut, ballerina. With a pony. Cool. I love your dress, Ruby. This old thing. I was practically buried in it. Hmm. New fangled fashions. I remember when a vampire queen used to look like a queen. Me too. Oh, Max, it's just a modern little frog. Too modern and too little for my tastes. You can practically see her ankles. Don't freak out, Max. After all, you can see my ankles. Mine too. I think she looks nice. Bold, ravishing, yes. Beautiful, of course. But her ankles, really. One century, it is corsets and bustles, and the next thing you know, it's platforms and miniskirts. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so, as I was saying, do snacks. makes me peckish. What's the matter, my love? You are usually the death of the party. 
I do not want to talk about it. Oh, tell me, my alabaster Romeo. Why are you so out of sorts? Yeah, it is just... What makes you? I don't want any bad blood between us. I am simply no good at parties. Look at the others, conversing with ease. I feel out of touch, and then I get self-conscious. But these are our friends. They like you just the way you are. 500 years their senior. I know. I just have to remind myself every now and again that it is the 20th century now. The 21st century, my precious. Great! Now my watch is stopped as well. I enjoy you, Maxi. But if you want to break the ice, start with a joke. A joke? I think I will try. But first... My parents are necking again. Maybe there's something I can eat on the snack table. Ugh. Bad dog! Bad dog! Up, oh, get down! Oh, all of my precious work. My tarantula egg rolls. My gorgonzola and hoppy's egg quiche. My fleas ear casserole. Oh, God. Thank goodness. You don't eat quiche? No, I meant the other stuff. Oh, gorgonzola. Wow. <whistles> Roommate Huddle! Now what? The party's just starting and we're out of food. Well, I could whip up some werewolf kebabs. <laughs> Seriously? What are we going to do? We have to serve something. I'm getting hungry. I'm starvulating. I'm gonna fade away to nothing if I don't eat something soon. Pizza! Pizza? 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 Pizza! I'll eat pizza! Me too! Pizza! Pizza would be a nice change. Pizza? Oh, back in my day, we never thought of putting cheese and sauce and... Uh, pizza is a groovy idea? <laughs> groovy? I know, they're so embarrassing, I could just live. I'll order. They know the sound of my voice at Diablo Brothers. Now, who wants garlic? What are you, a maniac? Are you trying to poison my family? We're all a little allergic to garlic, Harry. Get a Belfry Mano Special. Half O positive, half AB negative. Make sure there's extra cheese. Yeah! yeah. Extra That's cheese and olives! Yeah! You? You eat pizza with cheese and olives? Yeah, I like olives, so? I thought monsters ate little girls. Oh, that's silly. Little girls make the crust all soggy. <laughs> Just joking, kid. It's my job to scare kids, not eat them. If I went around eating all the clients, I'd be out of work. Who told you that bunch of nonsense? My cousin Jimmy. Ahem. <clears throat> well, I'm sure this Jimmy slash monster discussion is imperative to the plot. Can we get back to something that is really important? Like ordering pizza? Harry, we haven't forgotten who inhaled the buffet. Touché. Point well taken. Socially awkward pause. I'll phone this in. left Hannah in the spook house. We are gonna be in so much trouble, Jimmy. I can't believe we left Hannah in the spook house. What if she never comes out? I can't believe we left Hannah in the spook house. <laughs> Will you stop it? We did what we had to do, right? <clears throat> then where is she? She should have come screaming out of there ages ago. Maybe the monsters got her. There's no monsters. I just made that up to scare the baby. Duh. Yeah, and if they got her, then maybe they didn't get enough candy, and maybe the monsters are going to burst out of there any second and eat every kid in the whole world! What are you talking about? There's no monsters! Oh my gosh, we've got to save Hannah from the monsters! You save Hannah! I'm driving my SUV out of here before the monsters show up! Ah, monsters? monsters! You got more candy than your I do, yeah! Have you all gone crazy? Little babies believe in monsters, okay? We don't. 
We're the big kids, right? There's no such thing as monsters. I don't get it. The Apple Brothers Pizza. You buy, we fly. Oh, here's your order, scary godmother. That'll be $197. Tip not included. $200 in pizza? Sure. 12 extra larges at 16 bucks each. <laughs> of course, you could owe. Sign for it. Uh, no. Sorry. My soul is worth more than 12 pizzas. Psst. Scully, you got any money? No. I left it in my other pelvis. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. 12 pizzas, Harry? Naturally, I wanted to be considerate of everyone's choices. Ooh, let's see if Bugaboo has any money stuck to him from being under the beds all day. All right. insulted my roommate, made a mess of my house, and stuck me for 12 pizzas. Harry, sometimes you are insensitive, boorish, and you just have plain lousy table manners. No, oh, please, I'll do anything. I know you will, Harry. You'll help me in the pumpkin patch, you'll knit spider webs, clean the tombs. Oh, yes, you'll probably have tonight paid off by Halloween next year. Enjoy your pizza. <laughs> It's turned to ashes in my mouth. Oh, that's mine, then. I had half ashes, half green peppers. Ah, oh, this is great. We both like the same kind of pizza. Nothing better than cheese and olives. Yum. Mine's starting to cool off. That's when it gets nice and clotty. Want to try? Um, uh, uh, um, well, we've been eating pizza with garlic. And if our teeth touched your pizza, and then you ate it. Oh, yeah, your allergy. Whoa, thanks. I wasn't thinking. Whoa. <gasps> so other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you enjoy the show? Well, anyway, I should probably be getting home. I almost forgot what I came here for. I'm sorry I was scared of you, Bugaboo. Here. Well, aren't you sweet? How did you know monsters like candy? My cousin Jimmy told me. He said that every year a new kid has to leave candy for the monsters. Otherwise, the monsters will come and eat every one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, do you think any of us would eat you? No, no, not anymore. But Jimmy said... Jimmy? Wait a minute. Is this that same Jimmy that said I like to gobble up little girls? Then it's the same Jimmy that's on my route. I scare him silly every other Thursday. Big kids get scared? Oh, yeah. Since I'm under kids' beds, I know all the things they're afraid of. It's my job. Hannah, where is Jimmy now? Waiting for me, I guess. Well, <laughs> his wait is just about over. I think it's time we taught those big kids a lesson. Here's the plan. Jimmy, we're going to get in so much trouble, seriously. Okay, I have a plan. As leader, I order you guys to go in there and bring out the baby. You're the leader. You go in there and bring out the baby. Okay, we'll all go. No way. Monsters! I told you, there's no... <sighs> Fine, I'll go. I'm going with Jimmy. And I'm going too. I'll be waiting for you right here. Right here? 
alone in the dark? We better get going. <laughs> Who the heck are you? What are you doing here? I'm Orson. I'm a vampire. I'm Jimmy. I'm the devil. Happy Halloween. Hey, have you seen a little kid dressed like a dumb fairy princess, probably bawling her eyes out like a big baby? Fairy wings? Gold crown? Pink dress? Yeah! yeah. Nope. Aww. Oh, uh, this is Daryl. He's a piece of candy. Katie, she's a cat. And Bert, he's... Uh... Uh, He's a baseball player driving his SUV. Nice laser cannon, by the way. See? The vampire kid knows what I'm supposed to be. Aw, uh, he ain't no vampire. He's just another dorky kid someone else dared to go into the spook house. Am I right? <laughs> just for the record, I think you're a real vampire. Hey, cut it out! This kid's not a real vampire. I'm gonna tell my dad that you said I'm not a real vampire. Tell him! Tell your mom, too! Barbie. Stop me if you've heard this one. Four naughty kids walk into a spook house. And? What then? And we eat them, of course. Oh, now you tell the funny joke. <laughs> click, click, click. Yo, Baker Elf, yo, we ate. Gonna serve you more kids on a plate. Yes, howl, howl, aren't I frightful? Rend, tear, fold, mutilate. <gasps> Candy! Red <laughs> Hurry, my minions! Capture them before they reach the safety of the basement! <laughs> We're safe. We made it. We should probably stay here until the sun comes up. <laughs> Your cousin probably got eaten. That'll be a tough one to explain to her folks. Good thing Jimmy's the leader. He'll have to do it. Shut up. Daryl, I can't think with you breathing right down my neck. Um, Jimmy? I'm over here. Boo. Oh, criminy! Not the light of a flashlight! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Follow me! Hannah! Oh, save me, Hannah! Goodness, what a harsh light! Gak! I expire. Not the light of a little lamp! I cannot stand it! Nor can I! I wither! I burn! We are out! Oh! Blue! I'm guilty! Look how that light radiates into my countenance! It is too much for me in my pithy's hole. The light burns. It burns worse than the worst burn ever. Oh, mercy me. Is this the end of poor Harry? It seems so. Goodbye, mother. I can see a long tunnel with a bright light. I move towards the light. No, oh, all right. I die. I flail. Then I die. <laughs> Everybody. Bye, Hannah. Bye, Orson. Here, Hannah. Will I ever see you again? Anytime you want to come back to the Fright Side for a visit, just use this key in any door. 
We'll see you soon. Thanks, Scary Godmother. Hannah, we need you! Bring your flashlight! Hannah! Hannah! <laughs> Would you mind holding my hand? Oh, just in case uh, you get scared, that is. Not at all, Jimmy. Not at all. I'd like to do it one more time, though. Yeah, sure I could do it better. Any pizza left? What? No, it's hungry work. I built up quite an appetite. It's not easy scaring people, you know. Oh, no, do. No, no, please don't come any closer. But who? But who? I'll fight you. Scary Godmother! <laughs> Gentle viewers, let's hear it for uh, Scary Godmother! <laughs> you still owe me for eating all of the food at my Halloween party last year! You promised to do anything to make up for it! Oh, I don't remember such a promise. No, oh, please, I'll do anything! I know you will, Harry. You'll help me in the pumpkin patch, you'll knit spider webs, clean the tombs. Oh, yes. You'll probably have tonight paid off by Halloween next year. Enjoy your pizza. <laughs> oh, right. Now, get busy. We have to prepare for both Halloween and our big party. B -b -b that's what I'm doing. What do you mean? Are you saying that telling a scary story, a monstrous tale, a veritable ghost story, isn't preparing for Halloween? Hmm. Well, I... what I mean is... <laughs> Fine! But when you're done, I need you to separate the dragon's eggs from my special flambe souffle. Ooh, uh, separate the whites from the yolks? No, separate the eggs from the dragons. <laughs> Now, let us cast our gaze towards an average house in an average neighborhood and meet a boy named Jimmy. We open our tale with poor, poor Jimmy. He used to love Halloween and dressing up like a monster. But that was before last Halloween, when he found out a terrifying secret. Monsters, you see, are real. Now Jimmy lives in fear because he knows on Halloween the monsters will come back. <laughs> I've been waiting all year for this. What do you want? <laughs> Jimmy, your folks said you were up here. Are you sleeping? It's only seven. Ah! 
Jimmy? Are you okay? Hey, guy. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Thanks for what? For field testing my monster trap? <laughs> I figure monsters are dumber than you, and since you fell for it. <laughs> um, is that a compliment or an insult? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm leaving. You've gotten really weird lately, Jimmy. I'm monster-proof in my room for Halloween. We barely got away last time. But this year, I'm prepared. Okay, monsters can't stand the light. So I sleep with the lights on. And I made that flashlight trap. Number two, monsters like to sneak up on you. So I put balloons on the floor. When they pop, I know they're here. And finally, monsters hide under your bed and in your closet. So I removed the under from my bed, and I got rid of everything in my closet. Nothing for them to hide behind. So what do you do for clothes? Easy. <laughs> I just wear the same thing every day. <laughs> hey, my motto is, better smelly than in a monster's belly. I thought we all agreed. Those weren't monsters last Halloween, just big kids trying to scare us. Yeah, and we deserved it for trying to scare Hannah. So you're friends with the baby now? She's not a baby. She's all right. Look, we were going over our Halloween plans. I've got a list of the houses that just give out full-size chocolate bars. We'll need our bikes, but I think the extra effort will be worth it. We need to avoid the taffy district and that cul-de-sac that gives out toothbrushes. Aren't you listening? When you celebrate Halloween, you just make the monsters stronger. This year, we're boycotting Halloween. What? As group leader, I declare this Halloween canceled. You can't stop Halloween. You're just one kid. And I don't want to be part of any group that's anti-chocolate. You're either with me or against me. Fine. Be that way. Nah. Jimmy, don't make faces. Your face might breathe that way. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Mom. Meanwhile, a few blocks away, our humble heroine, Hannah, was preparing for Halloween herself. <laughs> Tag your end! <laughs> No tag backs. Yeah, I was just in the neighborhood. I got a new kid, Davy, next door on my scaring route. So I thought I'd pop by and say boo. I'm glad you did. I'm waiting for Bert, Daryl, and Katie. They're picking up Jimmy, and we're going to plan our Halloween. It's going to be great. You pals with them now? But they tried to scare you last Halloween. Aw, uh, they're okay. And what's a holiday without scares? <laughs> Arbor Day. Say, nice Halloween decorations. <laughs> You're gonna give Scary Godmother a run for her money. <laughs> Thanks. I'm out of cobwebs, though. Oh, I'm sure Scary Godmother's got extra. This time of year, she's as busy as a mummy at a bandage sale. <laughs> but I'm sure she'd love to see you. You still got the key she gave you, right? Great. Well, gotta go. That kid next door ain't gonna scare himself. <laughs> Catch you later. Chill you wanted, Scary Godmother. Perfect. Oh, my leaves are done. Burn us interrupt us. They're making leaves. Oh, 
just baking them until they're red and gold and perfectly crispy so they smell like fall and crunch just right when you jump into piles of them. You didn't think tree leaves changed on their own, did you? Actually, I did. The real trick is getting them all back on the trees. <laughs> Luckily, this year, the job goes to... Harry! You are not sleeping down there in Bugaboo's room when you've got work to do! Back to work. Halloween is just around the corner. I was just downstairs uh, organizing and uh, alphabetizing your potions and motions and motions and. Uh... Uh huh. You've still got to paint the clouds into the sky. <sighs> Hannah, can you get that? Hi, Boozle. <laughs> holiday for everyone here on the front side. Halloween's my favorite holiday, too. Of course it is, sweetie. With the creeps and treats, monsters and sweets, could you imagine anyone not loving Halloween? I hate Halloween. I hate, hate, hate Halloween. Jimmy, stop muttering to yourself. It's dinner time. And don't make those faces at dinner table. It'll get stuck that way. What are we having? Spaghetti and meatballs. Hey, my favorite! Oh, no! Go ahead. Eat me, Jimmy. Then on Halloween, I get to eat you! busy right now. I can come back later. Aw, oh, Hannah, I'm never too busy for you. What do you need? <laughs> Scary ducks? Magic cards? Who's the crazy ones? <laughs> no, I'm out of cobwebs. Voila! These are great! Well, I'm no Black Widow, but I do what I can. Oh, great! The decoration cupboard's locked and I don't have my skeleton key. Just Jimmy the lock. <gasps> Jimmy! I was supposed to call him. Scary Godmother, can I use your telephone? Sure, just use my cell phone. You won't eat me! Jimmy! Stop playing with your food! Hello? Hi, Jimmy. It's Hannah. Speak up! Is, is this long distance? You sound like you're calling from Norway. What do you want, Squirt? We're all going to get pumpkins tomorrow. Gotcha! <laughs> do you want to come? No! I'm not coming to get pumpkins! But you can't have Halloween without pumpkins. It was then that our Jimmy got himself an idea. A nasty, mean, selfish, devilish idea. Are you still there, Jimmy? Jimmy? If Halloween doesn't happen, the monsters can't get me. It's so simple. I'll just stop Halloween from coming. <laughs> Jimmy, what did I tell you about making faces? You stop it or your face will freeze like that! Oh yeah, whatever. Huh? Uh oh. Jimmy, the 
doesn't want to get a pumpkin. But without a pumpkin on Halloween, you ain't got Jack... Oh, Lantern. Oh, I'm sure he'll find his Halloween spirit. Oh, company! <laughs> Greetings! Hannah! Oh. Orson, are you okay? Yeah, I just forgot. You've got to invite us in. Ow! Does it hurt? Oh, nothing can really hurt me. Except a steak, or daylight, or holy water, or garlic, or... Hey, whoa, there are a lot of things that can hurt me. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Come in, come in, please. Oh, king, queen, and prince of the night. Oh, uh, we can't stay long. Max Orson and I are going to the grocery store, and knowing how busy you are, we wondered if we could get you anything. Well, if you could pick up a big jar of shrieks and a six-pack of frights, that'd be great. Done and done. What are you going to be for Halloween, Hannah? Mm, a veterinarian. Or an astronaut. Or a teacher. Maybe a superhero. Clown, pony trainer, acrobat, kitten, telemarketer, firefighter, or ballet dancer. I'll see when I get to the store. How about you? What'll you be on Halloween? The same thing as every year. My little prince of the vampires. Ow! Mom! Halloween is an old-time holiday requiring traditional formal clothing. No dungarees and tennis shoes. Ruby, my darling, you must show Hannah the coronation outfit that you're making for Orson. Oh, Hannah wouldn't be interested in my sketches. Yes, I would. Oh, no, she wouldn't. Oh, yes, I would. Please, Mom, don't. Wow. Very... Capy. Oh, uh, do I have to wear that? I look like a dork in a crown. Yes, you will be the prince of darkness. <laughs> what? Darkness is not good? What is a dork? Can we just go? I'm dying of embarrassment. It is a bit late for that, son. Goodbye, Hannah. See you on Halloween. Bye! See you on Halloween, Orson? I guess so. I gotta go, too. I have to finish putting up decorations. Oh, Hannah, do you want to see my Halloween costume? Sure. Cool. I'm the Bone Ranger. <laughs> what do you think? Hi-ho, Silver! See you on Halloween? You know it. The party wouldn't be a party without you, Hannah. Let's do this. Those of you watching of a more sensitive nature may wish to turn away for this next graphic scene of horticultural violence. Another chore is finished, scary taskmaster. Have I finally paid my debt to society? We can't have Halloween! What's with the dramatic mood music? Harry, 
What did you do with the clouds? Uh, I just painted them, I swear, as a gentleman and an artiste. Ooh, winter's come early this year. I gotta make my Christmas cards. That's not Jack Frost nipping at our noses. Something's wrong. Really wrong. Black socks with sandals wrong. My jack-o'-lanterns! Don't worry, Carrie Godmother. I'll save the pumpkins. <laughs> Scully, put some muscle into it. I would. If I had any muscles. Oh. Let me help you. Maybe we should use another fruit or vegetable. How about lettuce? A jack of lettuce? Why not broccoli? Then we wouldn't have to eat it. Hey guys, look! It's not broken. Someone just made the mouth for us. Cool! And it makes it easy to get the seeds out. Yeah, these pumpkins are better than ever! Everything seems back to normal for now, and congratulations, Bugaboo. That was a perfect strike. The worst costume is a pinata because I need to be hit all the time. Oh, yeah, totally. No, no. Or a quit. That's <gasps> they have pumpkins. Wait, what are they saying? The worst is candy corn. No way. The worst Halloween candy is black licorice. Ew. Well, any candy is fine by me. As long as you've got candy and costumes, you've got Halloween! Costumes and candy! Of course! It's the sweetest plan! <laughs> Ow! 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 Jimmy crept out into the night to continue his dastardly plan. If you're going out, bundle up. It's cold outside. But, Dad... Don't you butt me, young man. Put something on. <laughs> As I was saying, Jimmy crept out into the night to continue his dastardly plan. <laughs> oh no! Someone wrote the word poison on all of this candy too! Yeah, and flammable in all the costumes. Just like at all the other stores. Are they really poisoned and flammable? I don't know, but the stores can't sell candy and costumes that have been tampered with. They'll have to throw it all away. Even the chocolate caramels? Yes. The nut clusters? Yes, yes. The fruity wiggle worms and howler monkey choco pellets? Okay, you just made those up, but if they really existed, then yes, yes, yes! Dramatic music again! 
Oh, that's so not good. Listen up! We have a big problem! <laughs> Scary Godmother, are you having an everything must go sale? Huh? Ah! Oh, no! oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Thank goodness I have no eyeballs. And now my broom's out of power! <laughs> huh? Boozle? What is it? Are you trying to tell me something? still do the tricks. It'll be trick or trick. I guess I'm egging your house this year, Daryl. Yeah, right. Duh. Of course. I got it. Thanks, Boozle. I just had an idea. We don't have to buy treats. We can make our own. Make the treats. Sure. It's easy and fun. Here's what we could do. Hi, kids. Here's a treat that is easy to make and fun to eat. You'll need some large marshmallows, chocolate syrup, a chocolate bar broken into squares, graham crackers, and a toothpick. Take one square of chocolate and place it on two squares of graham cracker. Dip the toothpick into the chocolate syrup. Don't lose it in there. Paint a face on the marshmallow with the syrup. Put the marshmallow on top of the cracker. Add some hair, too. Put the whole thing into the microwave for 30 seconds or so, depending on your microwave. You want the chocolate square to get all softy. Watch his head puff up. Careful, it'll be hot when it comes out of the oven. Wait a few seconds until it's face to plate, and then chew him up. Mmm, gooey. Yeah, that'd work. You could even serve those at a party. That's a great idea, Katie. A Halloween party. A party? Yeah, that sounds good. But what do we do for costumes? We can make those too. We made our own last year and they were great. Mine was pretty cool. Okay, homemade treats and costumes it is. But where can we have the party that everyone could fit? The Spook House! <laughs> Nothing can stop me! I am so smart! <laughs> oh. Ow! You're invited to a Halloween party at the old spook house. Hey, buddy! You're wearing your costume already? Good to see you have your Halloween spirit back. Will we see you at the party at the spook house? Oh! I'll get there early! Extra early. Cool! See you there! Did he look creepy to you? <laughs> it's Halloween! You're supposed to look creepy. True! This Halloween is gonna rock! Yay for Halloween! Everyone, okay? <sighs> yes. There were just three of us, right? Ah, oh no! Scary godmother! Oh, what a world! Hooray! My 
my servitude is ended. It's enough to bring a creature to her. Halloween. Ah, if only it were so, dear viewer. But alas, his dastardly plan to ruin Halloween was on a roll. Do you get it? Toilet paper? Roll! <laughs> ah, Harry, truly you are a wolf with the wickedest wit in the West. <laughs> Let us see what chaos... Jimmy has wrought. Chest? My heart? Oh, I am alive! Alive! Can we panic now? Uh, sure, why not? I think it's perfect! What are you talking about? It's supposed to be a spook house. Can't you see? The house and trees look like little ghosts. Zillions of little ghosts. Hannah's right. Look at them all. Cool. It's a real spook house now. We owe a big thanks to whoever did this. Oh, this will be the best Halloween. Everyone okay? Uh, 
except for this lumpy pillow I'm sitting on. I'm great. I'm no pillow, you idiot. Now get off me. <laughs> my whole life passed in front of my eyes. How was it? Fabulous. Max, Orson, my darlings, are you both all right? That awful beating in my chest is stopped. I'm fine, I'm fine. But it might have hurt my head. Maybe I should take it easy for a while and not wear any crowns or robes or anything. Looks like Hannah did it again! Halloween is safe! Okay, it's party time! We have the snacks and new costumes! Yeah! Check it out! Last year I was a baseball player driving his SUV. This year I'm a baseball player driving an electric car. Yeah, even pro athletes gotta take care of the environment. Last year I was a cat. This year I'm a panther. Rawr! Oh, right, right. Well, last year I was a fairy princess. This year I'm a fairy queen. How about you, Daryl? I'm a piece of candy. That's what you were last year. But this year I'm sugar free. You said you had a surprise for us, Hannah? Yep. Are you ready for the best Halloween party ever? Yeah! yeah! Still a chance to ruin Halloween! Then when I get big, you guys really scared us. You're so cool. <laughs> Did you hear that, Orson? This lad thinks that I am cool. <sighs> you have just made his century. Ooh, what's in the jack o' lantern? It's the prize for the best costume. Ooh, and what treats is it filled with? Goblin cake? Booberry tots? I'm not sure. Scary Godmother said something about filling it with wolves, veins. <laughs> oh, oh, my dear girl, I believe they're playing our song. Do you know how to do the bat toosie? <laughs> to the dance floor! Is there really wolf's bane in there? No, it's sweet, sweetie. But if that walking hairball knew about them, there wouldn't be any left for the rest of us. My little bird, how is it going? Do you want me to send your father down to help you with the doublet and breeches? I know there are many ribbons to tie. And the jerkin and trunk hose. Do not forget them. Wow, I love Halloween. Don't 
like you, Count Max? Dressing up once a year as something you're not is so cool. Eh, uh, cool? Like, well, I'm dressed as a fairy queen, and I'm usually just a girl. Or like Orson, he's always a prince of the night, and tonight he's... A prince of the night, ugh. Now this would make Orson look cool. I knew that. I am with it. I am cool. That dead old human said so earlier. Ruby, my precious corpuscle, do not be so old-fashioned. Get with the century. It is Halloween, and now is not the time for him to dress as a prince. You are right. No matter how he looks on the outside, he is always a prince to us. Orson, come up and enjoy the party. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Henry. I owe you one. Oh! <laughs> Looks like you're saving everybody today. It was nothing. It was us that were almost nothing. You used your imagination and love of Halloween to save the day. And that's the greatest magic of all! Cornball! Thanks for letting my friends come to your party. I always say, the more the scarier! And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the best Halloween costume contest! <laughs> I'm so excited. And the winner of the grand prize is... <laughs> Where's the grand prize? Yes, the candy is mine. Halloween is ruined. <laughs> candy? I got it! Halloween. <laughs> bah, humbug. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, you got me, kid. You gave me a great scare. <laughs> Tonight I'll have to check under my bed to see if you might be there. Put it there, pal. <laughs> What? Hey, everybody! I think we've got a winner here for best costume! Anyone who can scare Bugaboo deserves it. Hey, I did scare the scariest monster around, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone who thinks Jimmy should win best costume, scream! Smash it open! Smash it? Um, would you help me, Anna? Sure. Glad you could make it, Jimmy. I wouldn't miss a Halloween party. Halloween rule! Ooh, did someone say there was candy? And so Halloween still had tricks and treats. And for Jimmy, revenge turned out to be very sweet indeed. <laughs> and Scary and Hannah declared as they flew through the night. Happy Halloween to all, and to all a good fright. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our little Halloween special. Please remember, we can't do these without your support. So please send all your spare candy to Harry the Werewolf, 
care of Ackerman Forest, the Fright Side. Every little snack helps us bring you this quality programming. That does it! I also accept gift certificates, gift baskets, comic books, DVDs, CDs, later! Those little squishy candies with the cream inside. Oh, please. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>